Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. And if you don't know, my name is Alexandria and let's just get into it. Y'all was stressing about the seasons. I was trying to do a spring video and I was like, I don't got time. I'm just gonna post a video of a style I wanted to do. And I have been seeing white Bermuda shorts on my Pinterest. And I was like, you know, I want to create some Pinterest styles and add my own little shebang to it. But I also wanted to create styles that are easy to recreate. So with keeping in mind that I wanted to make these easy styles that you can do for my, if you mimic my body shape. And I am a size 16. I range from a size 16 to 18, XL to XXL, and 1X, 2X, all of that. And this is going to be styling white Bermuda shorts in three different ways so let's get into it so the first look i absolutely love i've seen this on pinterest a lot and i feel like this is a out in the town type of outfit maybe go get a cocktail something like you could dress up you could dress it down and this ralph lauren polo i got from the goodwill when i do go thrift shopping i make sure that i thrift shop the things that are name brand that i usually would not buy retail price because to me it is expensive and everybody has their own definition of expensive my definition of expensive is anything above 20 dollars so anything above $20, I'm not paying for it. And I also have this rule of if I can buy it, I wouldn't buy a Target brand there unless it was brand new, had the tag on it, or a Walmart brand there unless it was brand new with the tag on it and it was like, it was really a cheap price, like it's a clearance price type thing. Other than that, I'll just go buy that brand new at the store because it doesn't make sense to me, especially, for example, Goodwill charges retail prices these days. So when I am looking at thrift stores or if I am thrifting, I'm looking for name brand items. And these Bermuda shorts are Liz Claymore. And Liz Claymore is usually at JCPenney. I got these from the thrift store as well. They were brand new and I got them for $2.50 and I was shopping on off season. And I feel like you can get some white shorts anywhere a target a walmart easily accessible and if you're lucky you'll find it at their store and i got this belt from burlington i noticed that they have a lot of belts that go up to 3x and i'm usually in the 1 2x range this belt that i have on is a 2x and i thought it would complement the outfit very very well my earrings that i'm wearing now this jewelry i got from thrifting the earrings they were on clearance at a liquidation place where the days go down like 10 $10 Wednesday, $10 Friday, or $6, whatever the days, the numbers go down. This outfit is very modest, and I wanted to wear these with my Liz Claymore shoes just to mimic the outfit. And these shoes are naturalizers, and they are so comfortable. I'm in the, the state of being... Or stay the one is to be comfortable in my heels at all times and be feel like I can walk in them all day and not have to worry about my feet hurting, the ball of my feet hurting, trying to adjust them, taking my shoes off and walking barefoot because that is a no, no, that is a no, no. And you know, I got my little AP bust down on my wrist. <laughs> But um, I always say this this watch doesn't work, but I get so many compliments on this watch that I got for $2, I believe, from the thrift store. I really like this outfit. Like I said, I feel like I could go out with friends, could go get a coffee, sit in the house, maybe take a few pictures, you know, do my big one. <laughs> Kelly Rowland and it I want to go to Target but I need to stop buying stuff that is the go I already got stuff in my closet that I need to be wearing and it needs to be seen by y'all so I said let me just do white let me just do the white so we did the white this white tee I got from Target I want to say it was $10 it's either $10 or under, but like I said, I'll link it below. These shorts, you already know, I'm not going to keep repeating it. Same jewelry, and my sneakers are Hirachis um, from Nike. But you can definitely put on any type of sneaker that you want. It's simple yet cute. Simple yet stylish. Simple like you doing, you still going to do your big one in this outfit. You can get up, go to the library, run a few errands, 
sit in the house i always say you don't need an event to look good you are the event honestly like wear your clothes you got them in your closet for, for speaking for myself i feel good when i look good um when i look my best when i'm showing up as my best you cannot tell me nothing i know my attitude changes it's just like as a black woman speaking we're not monolith but as a black woman as a black woman when my hair is not done i'm not seeing the sun but when my hair is done you're gonna see me out and about okay last but not least this outfit so i have here a pink blazer from new york and company i got this pink blazer from uh the goodwill for i want to say five dollars and new york and company if you go on their site you can find a blazer for under um all clearance look on the clearance section i have gotten a few quality blazers from new york and company for ten dollars or thirty dollars or less and they are good quality this one is a new york and company blazer um i think i paid for thirty dollars for this one because it matched the pants that and i'll probably show y'all a little clip or something because i actually wore this to a black woman's brunch today which is awesome but back to the outfit i got this top from target and you can get this if you are my size i think right now i'm at like 275 you girl getting hefty hefty and beautiful on you but <laughs> i would recommend getting the xxl because super comfortable or extra large and extra large still fits good but if you do see an xxl get that if you don't see the xxl you're still safe to get the extra large because this shirt has a lot of stretch and it's not sucking you in so tight that it's uncomfortable um so i got this in a pink and then i was undecisive about wearing these talbot sandals or going back to the natural the um naturalizer I uh kitten heels or whatever you want to call them mules the naturalizer mules are kitten heels whatever you want to call them so i decided to try them both on i ended up liking wearing them with the white heels it seemed to complement it better and i also had this pink purse that i decided to pair with it so i was loving it like that because when i put on the sandals i felt like nah but yes but yes but no <laughs> it wasn't doing it for me and i feel um I could not find a Pinterest outfit for what I was trying to do to mimic. I found a graphic tee one, but I wanted to do the monochromatic with the pink and then the color um, block with the white shorts. And I really, really love this outfit. If you wear these with some shades or go out in the town, you can dress this up, dress it down. It could be for any occasion. You could wear this to a happy hour a meet up with friends maybe an outside networking event going to a lounge to sip some wine yeah this is giving me boss vibes show up with these three outfits like i said i will link everything down below because everything it doesn't have to match to t like just because i have a liz claiborne shorts do not mean you have to go get Liz Claiborne shorts. You can go get some Target short, white shorts. Rainbow has great quality shorts for curvy girls. I really like them. <laughs> they have these one. I just I have to show that to nobody. But Rainbow has some very affordable curvy shorts. Very affordable curvy items that I think people forget about Rainbow. Because I definitely did at one point in time. <laughs> And there you have it. Three ways to wear these Bermuda sh shorts. Summertime is coming up. I feel like you can wear these outfits in the spring. Whether you're going to a happy hour, a day party, you're going to the library, or you're going on a solo date. Let's not forget the benefits of dressing up and taking yourself, dating yourself and going on a solo date. Let me know which look was your favorite. 
And if you love this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love when y'all engage in the comments because I guess it's hot to y'all back. Till next time, stay fabulous, stay fly, and keep doing you boo. No matter what nobody says. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let humanness cloud all in the sky.